Hey guys. Hi. We're on Facebook. We're live. Hey, 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 hey. Facebook. My, my, my mic ain't situated yet. Dude, look at that. They got a video in the banner on Facebook now? Yeah, dude. Dude, I want a video. Is that just on a fan, on like a, a verified page? Damn, man. When am I gonna be a public figure, guys? I need to get some, I need to get on GCTV. I need to get some branding and some ads rolling, man. If y'all want to get if y'all want to get uh, blown up, you gotta you gotta hit up Robert Cicillo, dude. He helps people get exposure, helps them get known through our channels, man. You get to be associated with with uh, Cardone Enterprises GC. Robert at grantcardone.com is where you can email him if you want more information on branding and promotion. If you think we do a good job of it and you want a little piece, he's the guy. He's the guy you want to get in contact with. Dude, these sales shows, I'm telling you, man, this is some good stuff in these sales shows. People, people I hope they understand. That this is like... This I, like is some, I like that you guys actually went full quarter sales on it. That's, that's yeah. I've been trying to work out a little bit more. You know? You see that? See those arms are getting a little tight in the shirt. I gotta stop getting extra slim and just go to slim. You know? <laughs> what are we talking about today? I don't know. I thought I'd have you come up here and do the show. We <laughs> could. Dude, we're talking about how to how to build your pitch. It's going to be a good one. So this is like how to, we, we had a show a couple weeks ago, the uh, show that I did about asking the right questions and how asking the right questions really like sets you up and leads you into the actual presentation of your product or service or whatever. So I want to go over the actual presentation today and just give you sort of a, a template that you can operate off of that will help you kind of lay out your story for maximum impact. All right, we're we rolling? Go in. Here we go. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. This is Young Hustlers, and I am Jared Glant. Every Thursday, noon, East Coast Standard Time, this show comes here to give you some tips and some strategies on how you can be more effective uh, in a sales role, how you can basically go out and be skilled up to go out and collect that money, get that paper, make that guala, so that you can get closer to your goals and dreams. And today, we've got a good show for you. I'm gonna talk about your actual pitch, your presentation. Um, you know, in a, in a sales process, your presentation uh, is, is extremely important. Really, every step of the process is critical. And a couple weeks ago, we did a show on asking questions, the right questions, and how, you know, that can really set up the, the entire presentation. It, it sets the tone. And so today, I want to talk about now that we've asked questions, now we're actually in the presentation, how you can have a, a, a more effective sales presentation uh, with your product or service. So look, I want you to call in if you guys have questions. It's 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. We got a ton of people on Facebook already. Appreciate you guys uh, jumping in, sharing the stream here. Uh, Man Manuel, Andrew, Tracy, Ira, Mark, Esteban, Isaac, Zamora, Chad. Dude, thanks guys for jumping in here. Thanks, thanks for, uh, for, for jumping on the show today. So um, one quick thing also, I do want to let you guys know that the sales boot camp is uh, next week. 
and you can get your, your tickets at grantcardonebootcamp.com. There's literally only a couple left. Um, right now, it's $44.95. It includes all three days of the boot camp. That means you're gonna get to hang out with G, you're gonna get to hang out with Vic Antonio, you're gonna get to hang out with me. And three days, we're gonna go deep into the sales process like, and help you really understand the stuff that I'm talking about here and, and help you create that pitch, that perfect pitch for your product or service so that you can go back and be way more effective and have those big old quota busting months. So uh, grantcardonebootcamp.com, you're gonna get all three days, you're gonna get lunch every day, GC's gonna be there hanging out, kicking it, uh, it's gonna be an awesome time. And for the remaining four seats, three or four seats that we have, we are including a ticket to the GrowthCon in Vegas. If y'all hadn't heard about that, Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. That's right, GrowthCon this year is gonna be in Las Vegas. So 2018 GrowthCon, Mandalay Bay, three nights, three uh, 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 unbelievable days of presentations. And I'll just tell you, the lineup of speakers that we are talking with right now to get to this uh, uh, event is gonna make last year look like, like the rookie year. It's gonna be like LeBron's rookie season, right? So we're, we're warming this thing up. We went from 2,000 seats to almost 10,000. So we'd love to have you guys there. And for the remaining uh, handful of seats that we have for boot camp, you're gonna get a ticket to the GrowthCon for all three days. And we're also going to uh, get you a hotel room out in Vegas as well. All right, so structuring your pitch. Now, when I talk about a presentation, I'm trying to think with a few things, right? I'm trying to think with, um, really the the why the how and and the what and what i mean by that is like the why well what why are you doing this the way that you're doing it and um you know what problems have have come up to you know create this opportunity for you and your product to deliver to clients right like what is the story of of how you're you know how you got to where you're at the how how you're actually going to do it so like what does your product or service do um, whether it's a training program that provides 24-hour uh, access to online sales training material, whether it's a car that goes real fast and smells real nice, whether it's a cell phone, like what, like, how does the thing work, right? And then finally, the what. What is the client ultimately going to get out of that? And so you'll, I'll, we'll talk about the, the feature advantages and benefits today. I'm sure you guys have uh, heard about that before. Um, but I really want to start out with your story because I think it sets up well um, because it's your opportunity to show how and why you're different, right? Now, this can vary. Like your why can vary between... Um, like for us, we sell a training program. That's not really a, a commodity. You can't get the same exact thing that we do somewhere else. The product is going to be different, right? Uh, but, but a car, for example, uh, or a, 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 a car is a good example. It, it, no matter where you go, you're going to get the same car, right? The engine's going to be the same. The, the equipment might be different, but like at the end of the day, I could go buy the same exact car at another dealership. So when you're talking about your story and your why, it's really an opportunity for you to give background, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity for you to start telling some of the story that we talked about when we were talking about asking questions. Um, you know, why you're doing what you're doing it, why you're doing the way you're doing it, um, you know, what other people uh, who have purchased your product in the past before have, have, have told you or communicated with you about why it's so great to do business with you. And so I'll kind of just give you an example because that's probably the best way to illustrate it. So, so our main product here is online sales training. Now, why are we doing it online? That's really what you want to ask. Why are we doing online sales training? Or if you're selling cars, like why is it, is it uh, since it's a commodity, why is it different to do business with us, right? So for sales training, like why did we go online? We went online because it was more cost effective. It didn't require time or travel. It allows people to train on their own time when they're interested rather than a set given schedule. Uh, because of it being online, we can track it. So there's accountability and reporting tied to all the activity that takes place. There's all these reasons why uh, 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 online sales training is a good deal. Now compare that to seminar training, which is how we used to do things. Um, you know, we're able to highlight a lot of the advantages of, of doing sales training online. 
And so you really want to clue into why. So like, uh, why buy a Gulfstream jet rather than a Citation? Or why buy an Apple phone versus a Samsung, right? So you have to start cluing in to your product and why and how it's different because that story is going to be really important when you're hooking the client in. When we get back, we'll talk about it more. Make six to seven figures overnight as an expert in your industry. Monetize your knowledge, monetize everything you work for, and make it work for you. Russell Whitney, expert in knowledge monetization, has worked with some of the largest brands, Robert Kiyosaki, Tony Robbins, Kevin Harrington, and George Foreman, in building out content that made them kings of their space. Scale your business to a nine-figure brand, sell from stage, create events, build a sales team, and get moving right now under greatest expansion in business yet. Visit Russell RussellWhitney.com. That's RussellWhitney.com to get started. Make six to seven figures overnight as an expert in your industry. Monetize your knowledge. Monetize everything. There's only one company to work for in the smart home industry, Skyline Security. Right now is looking for the best of the Grant Cardone following to join their team and expand financially and professionally. Go to joinskyline.com to register. Labeled by Inc. 5000 as the fastest growing company for the last two years in a row, you get to protect families, grow your wealth, and join a team of top producers. Skyline is looking for great people. Go to joinskyline.com. That's joinskyline.com to get started on a brand new 10x career path. Go to joinskyline.com to register. Franchising is listed by Grant Cardone as one of the ways to become a millionaire. Let the experts at Brand Finders be with you every step of the way as your partner finding, buying, selling, and promoting franchises. With over 10 years experience, Friend Finders is the company to help get set up with franchising, to help you get set up with owning your own franchise and finding a franchise that's right for you. Visit FranFinders.com. That's FranFinders.com to get started with your search today. All right, we're back, young hustlers. Today we're talking about building your pitch, crafting your story. We're in the presentation of your product or service now, and so now we gotta start putting these components together so that you can come up with a compelling story about why it makes sense to do business with you. So we started about talking about your story, why you're doing what you're doing, why you're doing it the way that you're doing it, what problems you actually are, are setting out to solve. So like for us, you know, uh, our story talks about how we went from doing seminars the old way to doing sales training online the new way for the reasons that I listed before. It's trackable, it's accessible, uh, it's using video-based content, which is like, you know, there's like 50 billion videos viewed every month. So it kind of supports, the story starts supporting why we're doing what we're doing. But it also gives you the ability to start highlighting some of the problems that you solve, right? So. It, it, like for example, selling cars. Like if your if your your why is hey, why does it make sense to do business at Friendly Ford? Then you need to talk about those things that the buyer is going to be sensitive about. So the story starts giving you the opportunity to to set the framework for for your presentation, and the why is really going to help the client understand a lot more of the kind of the the background about you, your company. Uh, it'll help you build altitude in their mind as well. So, you know, a great way to do this is by talking about the problems that you set out to solve. So, you know, we went online because we set out to solve some really big problems that a lot of our clients were, were communicating to us. They couldn't send people to, to workshops and pay for airplanes and tickets and uh, rental cars and hotels. And, and then they couldn't afford to have people, you know, away from their business for three days at a time because they were in a three-day workshop. Right? So then we started thinking about, well, what happens when they go home, right? Well, if you've ever sent your people to a seminar before, you know that they go to a seminar, they spend a bunch of time there, they come back two, three weeks, everything's great, they're rocking, and then what happens? They forget everything that they learned, right? And so what we set out to do is we set out to solve those problems by providing you with a solution that was available on demand 24 hours a day, seven days a week when your people want it, need it, and are interested in it, and then above and beyond that, we have the ability to track and monitor and report all the activity that takes place so that you can drill down and get more detailed with how you're managing the training activity that you're having within your business. So if you can take that example, what I've done is I've just told a little story about why we're doing what we're doing. And I think that probably gave it a little bit more clarity what I was trying to communicate because what that does is it sets up like an agreeable thing that people are like, oh yeah, hey, this makes perfect sense. At the same time, I'm talking about problems and issues 
that the customer's seeing in their head. They've had the problem before. They've had the experience before. And when you can start doing that, you get into your customer's head like, man, this person really understands my business and, and my challenges and my problems. And you know, obviously we're looking at one dimension of this. In the fact finding section of the process, which would have come before this, a lot of this information uh, will get revealed to you. So you know, like again, if you're selling a car or a commodity or something like that, then you know you want to focus on what differentiates you. You know, we're fast and friendly and fair. Uh, you know, we're fully transparent. We give you the best deal in town, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we turn your your car buying nightmare into an absolute dream experience, right? So you want to initiate some of those buyer sensitive issues when you're telling your story about why you're doing uh, things the way that you're doing them. So. You know, like for us, like when we talk about online sales training, some of the things that we love to initiate are the fact that, um, you know, number one, it's online and it's not in person. You know, sometimes people have issues with that. Um, other times people have issues with, oh, it's just going to be like the other thing that we signed up for uh, that didn't get used. These are all buyer sensitive things that we initiate when we're telling our story because it kind of gets all the cards out on the table, right? So you definitely don't want to hide the things that you know your customer's talking about and your story leading into your presentation is going to help bring all that stuff out to let your buyer know, your customer know, your prospect know that you are in line with them, uh, the things that they have their attention on. So that's the first piece, the why. The second piece is the how. How are you actually going to do what you're talking about? And so this is where we start transitioning into the features of your product. Like, like for us, we have like three or four main features that we go through on a presentation. And you've probably heard before your feature, advantage, and benefit. Hey, this is what, this is what the feature is. This is what it does. Here's how it benefits you. That's really basically the, the breakdown of the, the statement. Now, what's important is that you're tailoring these features to the problems that we uncovered in your fact finding. If you hadn't watched that show on asking questions, you need to go back uh, a couple weeks in the podcast and make sure it's called How to Ask Great Questions. Um, you need to go back and watch that because that really is an integral piece to making the presentation tailored to the buyer, right? Like, how are you going to tune in with them one on one so that they're like, this is exactly what I needed? So, we got to go over these features, advantages, and benefits. And what's really important is that when you're moving through your presentation and you're talking about the features of your product, that you're not blowing through the advantage to the customer and the benefit to them, right? So, you know, one of the features of our program is we have full 24 7 accountability for all the activity that takes place in the system. The advantage for you is that you now know who's looking at what, when they're looking at it, and where their real problem is. And the benefit, if you can have that visibility, is that you're gonna be able to provide one on one coaching experiences with your entire staff, which is gonna make them more effective and it's gonna eliminate a lot of the production issues that sometimes managers like you experience, right? So I'm tying it all the way through down to the ultimate benefit. What is this gonna do for me? A lot of times we get interested in talking and telling, you know, talking, uh, they, you know, telling not selling, right? This is the plane. The plane flies through the air. It's got really nice interior and it sounds real cool when it takes off and it's got a camera inside on the tail so you can watch it take off. But what does that all mean? If you're not seeing features all the way through to the advantage that that, that that has to the customer and then the ultimate benefit, what do you get from that? You know, the, the feature of this pen, it, it, that it, it's a clicker, means that the, the ink comes out. The feature is the clicker so the ink comes out so that you can actually write what you want to write on a piece of paper, mm. right? So you got to make the connection all the way through and I see a lot of salespeople sometimes forget this and they assume that the sales or the, the customer rather is the one that's going to make the connection for them. They're going to automatically by osmosis connect the, this little, what this little tail does with the ultimate benefit to them that it means it has a smoother ride and a lower drag efficient so that it gets better fuel economy which ultimately saves you time, energy and money, right? So, so you gotta see it all the way through. A feature without a benefit is worthless if you don't tie it all the way through. And don't assume that your customer is gonna do that on your own. Um, 
And then ultimately, when you're moving through these features, advantages, and benefits of your product, how does that solve the problem that the customer's having, right? How does the clicker solve the ultimate problem that I'm having? How does uh, online solve the problem that I'm having? How does closing content or sales uh, process content solve the problem that I'm having or experiencing? So you gotta make sure that you're seeing this all the way through when you're explaining how you're gonna do what you're gonna do, the, feature, the, the, the features of your product, you need to make sure that you see it all the way through. And when we get back, I'm gonna go to the last section and we're gonna get some callers here. This is Young Hustlers. If you're looking for digital cash flow, other streams of income, and you know how important multiple streams of income are, have you ever thought about making money online with zero money to start with? Let the expert Coach Gianni help you do this. From Amazon sales to banner advertising, monetizing your website effectively so every click makes you money. Build an online brand that sells and make money off of your website starting right now. Coach Gianni offers comprehensive, simple coaching of how to make money online, how to monetize your website, and come out on top in an arena where everybody's trying to get positioned. Go to CoachGianni.com forward slash cash flow. That's CoachGianni.com forward slash cash flow to get started with making money online. It's what we live for. Financial freedom is created from opportunity. At Symmetry Financial, we are committed to getting hard workers, talented individuals who love to sell, who love to help others create a strong six-figure income. If you ever wanted to have everything you wanted in life, Symmetry Financial holds the key to get you there. We want you, the top talent, the best in the business to join our team. Sign up now at sfgcareers.biz. That's sfgcareers.biz. Over 20 years of experience in the real estate game cash now pa is the place to go for buying homes for all cash with no fees any condition with bbb accreditation gray abood owner of cash now pa has been helping customers get in and out of homes creating better spaces for living and making a difference in local communities with the focus on buying homes all cash no fees with any condition also be bbb accredited uh visit cashnowpa.com that's cashnowpa.com to get started Hey, this is Young Hustlers. We're back. We're talking about building your pitch. We're talking about your story. We're talking about the features and the advantages and the benefits of your product so that you can tie into those, those, uh, those, uh, those problems that your customer's trying to solve. You got, here we go. Get a little bit of sugar for my coffee. Uh, and, then, uh, and then now I want to talk to you about the what. So what is that ultimately going to deliver? This is where I, we start quantifying things. So again, we're talking about your story here. So your sales presentation should be a story when you look at it. It should, it should handle issues, concerns. You should actually ask questions to figure out what those issues and concerns are for your customers. And then you should be able to like, in my mind, when you look at the top of the process, it's like, hey, we say hello, we learn about all the problems and the challenges. We talk about how our, pro, how our system, solution, service, product solves a lot of those problems, concerns, issues because it has these features. This is ultimately what it's gonna deliver to you in terms of money. Do you wanna do the deal or not? So in my mind, when I see the sales process, it lays out like a story like that. So when we're dealing specifically with the presentation, we have the why we're doing what we're doing, how we're gonna solve your problem, and what, what are you gonna get, right? This is where you quantify the impact of what you're proposing, right? Now, if you're not asking good fact-finding questions and you're not determining current levels of production, if you're not determining uh, those, those quantifiable things, the numbers, um, it's gonna be really hard for you to attach a number to what you're providing them with. Um, and so this is really important when you're asking questions that you're getting good information. Again, we do sales training. So when we're asking questions of the customer early on in the process, it's because I'm trying to collect data that I'm gonna come back and use when I'm wrapping up my presentation so that I can start quantifying impact of what we're gonna do. This is exactly why decision makers don't like answering questions. So you have to become a master at it because they know how this thing rolls. They know that whenever they answer a question, that, that could, they, they could be getting set up for later in the deal. And the truth is, all you're trying to do is help them make a logical decision based on what you've shown them. And so, like when we talk about, you know, for example, how many salespeople do you have, John? I've got 10 salespeople. Wow, what's the biggest, you know, what's the biggest problem you have with your salespeople? Man, it's their, you know, they, they're not closing deals. Good. Do you think it's safe to say that each of your salespeople missed one deal last month because they couldn't close? 
Well, yeah, I mean, they probably missed one, maybe two. Well, let's just call it one to be conservative, right? Each of your people missed one deal last month because they couldn't close a deal. This is in the fact finding early on, right? Now when I come back through and I've already gone through, hey, here's why we did what we do, here's the features. By the way, this closing material is gonna help solve that problem you have with your 10 people because the truth is, if they knew what to say, how to say it, and when to say it, they'd probably co close more deals. Wouldn't you agree? Good. Here's exactly what that means for you. When we put our curriculum in place, we know that your salespeople are gonna have access 24 seven to material and information on closing more deals, right? Our average customer, if we could get them one more deal per person, that's 10 extra deals per month for a guy like you just because we solve one problem. How much money do you make per deal? Uh, 5,000 bucks. Well, 5,000 bucks times 10 deals that you missed that we can help you grab, it's a big number, 50 grand, right? Especially if your product is a two or three or four or $5,000 product, 10X ROI. Could you make sense of that? So you see the story starts your pitch and, and the way this story starts building and putting together, it gets to the point where at the end of the road, all the, all, you, you, you've been through the introduction and you've been through chapter one, two, three, four, five, and now you're getting to the end of the story where the book's about to end and you gotta move into the close. You gotta ask for the business, right? So I ran through that because we got five callers on the line. I know I went through it fast, but let's go to, uh, let's go to number one, who we got? Ted, South Carolina, welcome to Young Hustlers. What's going on, Jack? Hey, will you mute your computer for me? Yeah, it's muted, my bad. Awesome, man. What's your question, Ted? Uh, all right, so I'm just getting into sales, uh, pretty much haven't done it at all, and I'm just doing some research listening to you guys. The biggest thing I see, you talk a lot about structure, um, having a plan in place. My two things going back and forth, I'd say, what would you put more stock in, the format and the structure or the style? Is it necessarily the product or the, the person that's selling it? Yeah, well, look, there is zero doubt that if you have a charisma and a good personality and you know a little bit about what you're talking about, that you can have success in sales. But the truth is that once you get to, like, you're, you're gonna eventually bump into a, a ceiling, right? And, you know, I would say that as a, as a new salesperson, relying on personality can deliver inconsistent results because what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna start talking in the process and you're not gonna be aware enough of where you're at in the transaction to be able to know like, oh shit, I should've asked that question. Man, I forgot because I, I wasn't thinking that I was in the fact-finding phase. I was just trying to interact with the customer and keep it real loose. So I would say that although you can have success early on, Map out something, like get, get something. You, you know, what product do you sell? Uh, well, currently I'm kind of uh, looking at a few MLM opportunities and things like that, trying to start into the sales business. Okay, so uh, I mean, if you, if you, if you have a, once you, once you have your product, then you're gonna be able to develop a process for it. And so, you know, let's say you reach out to somebody like Natalie, cause I'm in, uh, I, I've just signed up for an MLM deal. And I wanna say, you know, uh, Natalie, again, uh, Intro, fact finding, presentation, you know, propose a, a deal and then close. Hey Natalie, hope you're doing well. Um, you know, I recently found a new opportunity uh, that allows me huge amounts, huge return, uncapped uh, passive income opportunities, and uh, it allows me to do it from home. All like it's crazy. I, I have free time. It's it's beautiful. I can work from my under, you know, in my underwear in my in my uh, room. I can go down to the pool, you know, have you ever thought about doing anything like that? Uh, no, I mean, of course, you, you know, who knows if you thought about it or not, but doesn't it sound like something you might be interested in? Finding a way to do that for you? Yeah, I guess. What are you doing right now with your free time? Uh, watching TV. Well, what if I told you that by spending 30 minutes a day uh, building this business, you could get yourself in a position to have, you know, cash flow, passive income, and the freedom and the ability to do whatever you want with your schedule. Oh wow, that's great, I'd be interested in that. And then hey look, so I found myself in that same position, I'm starting the story now, right? I'm starting the story. So, um, 
I found myself in that same position. And so what I did is I set out to find a company, a product, a service that, uh, that I could get involved with that would allow me to do those things that I wanted to do. And I didn't think I was gonna ever find one, but I finally found one. It's this company called X. And the best thing about this company is it allows me the freedom and they have an awesome product. And then you start moving into the product. So you can see it just kind of ends up flowing. Um, but you, you gotta have you gotta have some type of process that you're following if you want to accelerate the the process and you want to have more consistent results. So I hope that helped. Next caller. Right. I got Sebastian and man. Mm. Sebastian, what's up? Hey, Jared. Thanks for watching, man. I think we lost him. Sebastian. Sebastian? Mario and Cancun. Mario? Mario. Mario? Mario or Mario? Oh, no. I have Jamie in California. Oh, Jamie from California. What's up, Jamie? Hi, Jared. How's it going? I'm calling from Del Mar. Oh, Del Mar. That's, that's my old stomping grounds. Yeah, we missed you over here. Yeah, Jake's. Um, I, I miss Jake's. I miss Jake's more than anything. Oh, yeah, we walk over there. <laughs> What's your question, Jamie? We are a plumbing and HVAC company, so most of our buyers are going to be need buyers. Uh, but we're not a cheap company. We're different. We provide great service. Customers happy. But then they talk to a neighbor, a friend, or relative, and then they have buyer's remorse. How do we keep that from just happening to us? They have buyer's remorse after they've purchased from you? Yes. What would they have buyer's remorse about? The price. The price or the product? The price. Okay, the price. So what I would do is I would, again, bring this up early on in the process. So when, when you talk to somebody, they say, hey, I got this problem, my toilet's overflowing, um, you know, I need somebody out here quick. Excellent, thank you so much. I, I guarantee we are the people that can get this handled for you. And let me tell you why people choose to do business with us, right? You know, um, typically what happens is they're in a need-based situation just like you found yourself in right now and they need to get a solution fast and it needs to be reliable and it needs to get done the right way so that you don't find yourself in another position like this again. What we did when we built our company is we set out to solve those exact problems for people just like you. We provide the fastest service that you can possibly get and we deliver a quality uh, of service that, that will be unmatched in the marketplace. And for years to come, we want to be your, your trusted provider and your trusted source. So like uh, you, you could also talk about how you know people in your situation uh, often because you're in need, uh, people end up doing business with the wrong vendor. Uh, they pay too much money and don't get the job done the right way. Um, it takes too long and more damage happens. So you could also bring up some of the issues early on that like the horror stories, I know it sounds bad, but you can bring up the horror stories to remind them of how bad situations can actually get and how bad they can be. Now, you know, by doing business with a premier company like us that offers a premier service or, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, you know, premier is probably a good word rather than expensive. Um, by doing business with a premier company like ours, we make sure that we have the best trained techs, we have the fastest turnaround time, and we have satisfaction with our, our clients and our products that's like second to none. So bring that stuff up in the front of the in, in in the front of the deal, and then I'm guessing you're probably figuring out this through like reviews or something online. Yeah, so we have some reviews that people choose us because of our reviews. Eventually, they realize later because a friend, relative, neighbor says, "What happened? You got ripped off." Yeah. So again, the 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 most important thing is that you handle that communication with a phone call. This is something that like, like when, we get, when we get a bad review, like we're all over it. Like we pick up the phone, we call them, we're like, hey, what happened? How can we fix it? And we, we end up fixing it 95% of the time, right? So it, it's, it's, at that point, I mean, truthfully, you've already gotten their money. Like you, right. you've, you've already gotten their money that you've already moved down the road. There are companies that don't do anything at this point. They're like, I already got paid. But by, again, because you're a premier company, you reach out, hey, look, it's really important for us to make sure that all of our customers are happy. 
explain to me some of your concerns. Oh, well, I talked to my uncle or my brother or my cousin or my sister, uh, and they said that I paid too much money. Well, again, you know, what, 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 when we first spoke, you know, I let you know that some of the, the concerns that most people like you have are that the job doesn't get done the right way, it takes too long to get there, and the techs are inexperienced or can't communicate well or are rude. And, you know, although our price may be a little bit higher, it's actually a better value because you're not gonna have the horror story. We're gonna fix the job the first time and stand behind it. We're gonna deliver uh, service reps who handle you professionally and courteously. So like, again, it's just a restatement of those, 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 uh, those value thing, those value components that you offer. Awesome. So I hope that helped. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Jared, and congrats to baby coming. Thank you, Jamie. Appreciate it. All right, I got JJ Simmons. That's JJ. JJ. JJ, what's going on, man? What's going on, boss? JJ Simmons. My man. What's your question today? I got a question. Uh, first of all, thank you for taking my call. I've been uh, I've been doing some cold calling with some people, and I've been trying to get into the establishment to speak. And my question is, should I be calling them to, to set up appointments with me going there physically or me giving them my presentation over the phone? Yeah, well, like for us, that's a great question. So he's basically asking, hey, when I'm cold calling people, should I be asking for an appointment in person or over the phone? If our only clients, you can, if our only clients were here locally in Miami, then we would definitely be setting up appointments to go by in person. Whenever we have opportunities here locally, we always try to get in front of somebody face to face, eyeball to eyeball. Cannot replace that interaction. If they're across the country, then you're gonna definitely be wanting to set a phone appointment up. But ultimately what's gonna make the decision is like how valuable is your product? What's that customer or that opportunity worth to you? You know, my uncle works for Citrix. They, they do with, you know, two and three million dollar contracts. When he gets an appointment with somebody, he flies out to them and he goes and sees them face to face no matter where they're at. So you need to make that determination of how valuable is the customer potentially worth to you. When we have deals that we're working that are big deals, we're always saying, hey, we wanna come out and present to you. We're presenting a $1.5 million contract. I wanna do that face to face, not over the phone. Now, oftentimes what you'll run into is that people will actually say, no, 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 no. I'd rather do it over the phone first. And of course, then you wanna respect that. Um, but you always wanna offer that. So even if you know they're gonna say no and you're probably not gonna end up going anyways, you always wanna offer that if the, if the value of the deal is big enough because it shows that you're committed to the customer. So, so look, structuring your pitch is important, right? It, it helps you have flow in your story. And the better you understand those steps, like Ted who called first, he was saying, hey, do I need a process or can I just wing it? The better you understand your steps, the more you can start telegraphing where you're gonna go in the process, right? It's like chess. The best players are moves, eight moves, 10 moves ahead because they see where the story's going. And that's how you get to like Grant Cardone level because you elevate so high up above this process that you're literally feeding people down the, down the little alleyways through this, you know, what can be a complex process trying to figure out exactly what the problem is and what they'll pay money to solve, exactly how your product fits that problem and solves that problem, exactly what the return of doing business with you is gonna be for them and then getting them move, to move to a yes decision. This is, it, 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 sales is a very simple thing, but if you wanna get great at it, it can be very difficult. And that's exactly why we put together our three-day boot camp. We put together this boot camp, grantcardonebootcamp.com, so that we could help you build out this story for yourself. So that you don't have to have the issues, the frustration, the lost opportunities, the missed out income uh, with your business. You don't have to learn uh, you know, as you go. It doesn't have to be that way, right? The most expensive thing you could do is practice on your customers. And so our three-day boot camp here in Miami, it's, it's happening next week. We only have a handful of seats left. It's designed to help you shortcut all those problems. We're gonna help you understand, we're gonna help you develop by understanding your product and your positioning. We're gonna help you lay out the process. We're gonna help you figure out what those objections are. We're gonna help you with the cold call script. We're gonna help you build out your perfect story storyline presentation 
asking for the close, following up when you don't get the business. We're covering the sales process from soup to nuts. I never knew what that mean, but A to Z sounds good to me too, right? So look, grantcardonebootcamp.com. It's a $6,000 ticket. Um, we're, they're on sale right now for $44.95. We only have a handful left. And for the last few that do purchase, I'm gonna throw in a ticket to the 2018 10X Growth Con. It's Las Vegas. It doesn't get no bigger than Vegas. And we're gonna include a hotel room for you for three nights while you're in Vegas. So it's a, it's a ridiculous deal. Come spend three days with Grant, with me, with Victor Antonio here in Miami, and then come out to Vegas for the 2018 Growth Con and light your world on fire. We're here to help you. And by the way, if you're gonna be around your computer today at five o'clock, we're doing a little sneak peek preview for the Growth Con. You do not wanna miss this going to be crazy, okay? You got to see this. Got to see it firsthand. Eastern Standard, Time. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're on the West Coast, that's uh, 2 p.m. for you. So look, thanks for joining the show today. You got to get your story right. Watch that show I did a couple weeks ago on asking questions. Build your pitch out. Write out your story. Dude, I promise you, you're going to be able to flow into your presentations and you're going to be like, you're going to be mesmerizing because of this, this enchanting story that you can tell about how your product solves their problem and ultimately it's gonna make them money, save them money, make their life easier. So we'll see what happens next week on the next show. I hope you guys call back and, and some of you put this into practice. And remember, the only people that condemn the hustle are the ones who've given up on the hustle themselves. We'll see you next week. Buying or finding a new home should not be stressful or boring. With over 14 years experience, Good Time Tommy has spent his time building strategies, tips, and content that will help you, the new homeowner or seasoned homeowner, get the best deal for your money. Educate, navigate, and celebrate. Because whether you're buying or selling, you're going to get more traffic to your property promotion on every channel and watch as Tommy and his team work until you are satisfied. Your new home awaits you with Good Time Tommy and his team. Subscribe, like, and follow at GoodTimeTommy.com. That's GoodTimeTommy.com.